on the medical watch a new way to repair damaged joints using stem cells. It adds a surgery site, but the hope is it will reduce the time of healing. Check out Harold Kling's journey. Just a clumsy human mistake. Three months after he fell off the lift gate of a delivery truck, the 63-year-old is prepped to have his torn rotator cuff repaired. The rotator cuff is basically a group of muscles and tendons that surround the shoulder joint. There's a total of four muscles and he's torn two of them. I heard something snap, kind of, and uh, I blacked out for 10 or 15 seconds. I was afraid I was going to hit my head, but I just kind of decided to roll and land on my shoulder. And since that time, he's been having pain and loss of function in his shoulder, so he has weakness with trying to elevate it or using his arms away from the body or overhead. You should turn the location, change the location. In the operating room, Harold Kling's shoulder surgery starts in his hip. We're going to aspirate about 60 cc's. Stem cells harvested on the spot from bone marrow in the hip are spun down and isolated as Midwest Orthopedics at Rush surgeon Dr. Nikhil Verma cleans up the damage and fixes the tears. We put uh, widgets or anchors into the bone. They almost look like the anchors that you would use in your drywall. They screw into the bone itself, and then we have stitches or sutures that actually reattach the tendon back down to the bone. Then it's up to the body to heal, but it's not a perfect process. As we age, the blood supply to the tendon naturally deteriorates, putting some patients at a disadvantage. The tendon fails to heal, and that can be any we're between 20 to 30 percent, depending on the size of the tear, the age of the patient, other factors like smoking. The normal tendon, when we, right when we repair it, heals with scar tissue. That's where the stem cells come in. Instead of scar tissue taking over, Dr. Verma hopes the cells, which have the ability to differentiate, will help generate more normal anatomy. That means if we need them to become a tendon, they can become a tendon. If we need them to become a bone cell, they can become a bone cell or um, a blood vessel cell. So this is the final uh, product. We're basically going to just inject this directly into the repair site. What we'd like to see is an improved rate of healing, so decrease those number of patients that have a failure of the repair. Uh, number two is to, we can improve the time frame it takes to heal. And number three, when it's all said and done, if we can get a more normal tendon to bone appearance. Doctors at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush are tracking the impact of the stem cells and looking for patients to participate in their clinical trial. You can find out more on our website. Back to you.